Alright tubes, it's engine night here. And everybody's been asking about the engine. I told you we don't not gonna work on it every night, every week. You know? Mike Mike works every day and uh, he don't have time to work on this all the time. But uh, what he did was, let me show you. Hold that up, buddy. The latest thing we did was uh, just put these uh, nuts in here, weld some nuts in on the bottom there. And what he's doing now is uh, bolting Start the case on. together. Yeah. He just drilled these and tapped them, and now he's uh, he's over here cleaning up some screws. Mm -hmm. Yeah, running these uh... quarter twenty eights fine thread. Yep, yep. These Allen heads through uh, yeah. the die here because they got a little locking thing in them. Yeah, they got some kind of lock glob on there, and we don't need that. No, they don't need that. Well, yeah, but we're not making much progress on this only because anything we got to do takes eight hours or something. It's all machining now, and we just don't have the time. You know, everybody keeps asking, but I, I told you in the last video, same thing. But I keep getting questions about it. So we we'll get to it when we get to it. That's it. Don't rush there you go. That's it. Don't be pissing Mike off. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't want to rush it. Yeah, you can't rush perfection. Daddy, you have to Actually, there's not much work left to be done on it. Yeah. It's just a matter of uh, getting the time to do it. Yeah. It's engine night here. We got old boys here. We got John playing a banjo for us. And little dirt bike uh, eating our pizza. He came to eat our pizza. That's right. Little racer. And a special guest down here, Sierra. Yeah. Wave. Yep. Yeah. Wave to wave to the tubers. There you go. All right. I'll keep my eye on Mike, and when he does something uh, to the engineer, I'll, I'll videotape it. Right. All right. All right. Here we go. Mike's doing something a little interesting here. That some of you guys, are, you wonder how you transfer. Uh, Holes from one one uh, object to another. Yeah. yeah. Show them what you got there, Mike. Yeah. These little things. Let me zoom in there. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know what they're called, Mike. No, I, I guess I'm gonna just kind of call them screw transfer punches. Uh, got these six of these little things in here. Uh, and uh, let's see. Uncle Tom, just uh. This all has to be big enough for the wire. Oh, they're they're they're. They're a male, male thread and they got a little tip on them there. A little there. titty on there. Yeah. So you thread them into whatever hole you have. In this case we got six of them. And what we'll do, what I'll do is once these are all put in and set to the same height, the little tip sticks up slightly above, you know, the, 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 the surface here. That, and uh, I'll set the cover on and set it up where I want it to be and just take a hammer and hammer on the cover uh, right right above each of these little uh, punches and uh, and it transfers a center punch right there. exactly it puts a punch mark on there and you know they're exactly aligned with the center of the uh, hole there so when you drill them they all line up which is you know before I knew what these things were and yeah. or they existed was a kind of a pain to do. We, 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 right. we would have done this all differently. You, right. know? you would have had to transfer it and made templates. And right. Yeah. You would have had to just do a bit of it would have been measuring right. and measuring once and twice and hoping for the best. Yeah. And you ain't gonna get any closer than this. No. Okay. Make all the same height more or less. high one here. See him? One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. Right where they belong. There you go. Now he's got to drill them and that's as close as you're going to get. Yeah. Yep. All right. I'll let Mike drill them and then we'll get back to him. Cool. All right. Looks like Mike is finishing up here. How you make out, buddy? Hey, it came out pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, the, uh, the end plates on here are just 
they're just roughly shaped. You see, there's a there's a lip around the outside of the block there. Mm -hmm. But I, I oversized them just so I could grind them right. to match the block. So they, they're going to be ground while so, while they're actually mounted, so that they match perfectly. Um, the front and back are done there. I like the Allen head screws. I think we're going to keep with those. Yeah, they were only temporary, but I, I like them too. We, yeah. we discussed that, and it, uh, it actually looks good. Yeah. So this this is actually going to be how. This is actually the back. This is the front. And this is the this is the uh, orientation it's going to be mounted. One cylinder up top, this cylinder, and then the two down on an okay. angle. What are you going to do next? Uh, the next thing will be to drill the end plates for the crankshaft and the camshaft uh, mounts to have a template here made. Once I grind these plates to match the block, all I have to do is lay this paper template on, line it up, and that's my center line and the uh, cam pushing holes. So, actually, it's, it's actually going to be like that. So you have a cam here underneath these valves, a cam here, and a cam here, and the crankshaft in the center. I don't know if you remember, these are, I started making the cam shafts already. Uh, I put a, a keyway in these shafts and put a keyway in the gears. They're actually going to hang off the back. So if you're, it's kind of I'm trying to refresh your memory here. Yeah. Got a center driven gear on the crankshaft and the chain driven cams all the way around. So, but uh, I don't know. That's, uh, yeah. that's where we're at now. Well, a lot of these guys don't, guys don't understand. You know, I try telling them that this this isn't something they work on every day. You know, we we may not work on this for a week, it may not be a month, maybe may, yeah. yeah, maybe for be, six yeah. months, could be could be a year. Yeah, you don't we don't know. It's not we're it's, not on a schedule. That we're we're not getting paid for this. You know, it's not it's not a job. And it's just something for us to do in our spare time, and lately we haven't had any spare time. Exactly. Mike uh, bought a new house, and, and he's got, Christ, over over two dozen engines he's, he's working on at the same time. Yeah. So it's, this isn't something that we could just sit down and work on for five minutes. It's uh, it's an eight-hour thing. Uh, yeah, once you get yeah. started, you know, right. you can't it's, just you can't just thread a hole or something, or, 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 you know, weld something over here, because you'll forget what you did, and the next time you get to it, you know, you might forget that and you'll end up going in some other direction and you're like, you know, you waste time or, or destroy something, destroy previous work. You have to sit down and focus on it and do it, do it at blocks at a time, you know. Yeah. Well, all our, all our everyday uh, subscribers know that. They know that this is just a part-time thing, but I keep getting uh, questions all the time from these people that don't even watch the videos. You know, well, what's going on with the radio on, you know. Stop asking because it's, it's just, it's not going <laughs> to, this isn't going to be done for a while. It's just a part-time thing. Yep. All right, enough rambling, right, Mike? That's right. All right, Tubes, this is it. We might not see you for a while, but uh, take a look at it. All righty.